Hey, how's it going? Dylan here. Today I'll be talking about the new movie, Red Sparrow. So Red Sparrow is a kind of uh, modern day espionage thriller directed by Francis Lawrence, starring Jennifer Lawrence. Um, they paired up, obviously, for the last three Hunger Games movies. Um, and if you're coming into this movie, right out the bat, I'm going to say this, if you're coming into this movie expecting something with similar themes and along the lines of the, those, those films, you are going to be sorely mistaken and possibly shocked. This movie is a hard R, I guess you'd say, in the US espionage thriller. It's quite gratuitous and it has quite a few other things going on. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It is very well made, beautifully shot, uh, cinematography, beautifully shot anamorphic lenses, which I think Francis Lawrence, Lawrence prefers, uh, as with all the, the last three Hunger Games were all shot that way. And this story is a very slow burn. It involve, revolves around Jennifer Lawrence's character, who's a Russian ballerina who kind of gets, through various happenings, gets and ends up in a school for, like, to be trained to lure and seduce people around the world and act as spies. And they, they call them sparrows and things like that, which is the information you kind of get in the trailers, which were really well done, by the way. And I was really looking forward to this film going into it. It had the markings of most things I'm, like, I enjoy, which is a, kind of more slow burn stuff, less action, more thought and interesting stuff going on. I was still quite surprised by some of the scenes in this. If you're triggered by like sexual violence and situations, then this movie's probably not for you. But the movie doesn't... It, no, in no way uh, glorifies any of it. It is. It makes it incredibly uncomfortable to watch, which I think is the hallmark of it being made really well. It kind of affects you and kind of shows the situation that the main character is in. And Jennifer Lawrence does a really good job with this character. I think she did some fantastic acting in it and she has a decent Russian accent. So the whole movie is basically in English, but with Russian accents, even though they're probably supposed to be speaking Russian, obviously in Russian which, you know, I would, personally, I would have preferred if they just went full on and everyone spoke in Russian in Russia. I know that's quite hard to do, but I actually prefer it that way and have it subtitled because uh, it's more authentic. And like, that's coming to TV a lot now, like the Americans and various other things, dark on Netflix, I love it. And I know for a bigger budget film, that's probably a bit too much to ask of the studio to put its faith in a film that would be foreign language. <clears throat> so that's understandable and it doesn't degrade the film in any way really. So this film comes in at about 2 hours 20 minutes I believe and it did feel a bit long. There was a lot of times when I thought it was dragging out a bit, a bit slow. So I guess it could have been, could have had some better pacing. But all in all I did enjoy the film and I think that I'll be definitely picking this up on Blu-ray when it comes out. You don't really see these kinds of films that often anymore, like the espionage thriller. I hope they come back with a vengeance. And this was fantastic seeing um, Francis Lawrence and Jennifer Lawrence in a hard R thriller with that doesn't really hold back in terms of what it will show. I kind of, I guess it kind of hallmarks back to uh, some of the scenes in Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Finch's version in 2010, I think, and or 2009, and. I know some people will not like that, but I, I guess it, the redeeming factor for me is it doesn't glorify that kind of stuff. It portrays it as it should be. It does not gloss over things, that's for sure. Now, there is also the fact that uh, Jennifer Lawrence's character, uh, a lot of people have said that you don't really know where she's coming from in terms of her thought process and things, and that's correct. You don't for most of the film, you don't really know what she's planning to do. I didn't find it a hindrance to the viewing experience. I thought that the reveal, there is a slight twist at the end, but I did kind of call it a little bit before that, uh, but it kept me out of the loop for quite a while. And uh, there's things for and against that. I enjoy it that way, um, not really knowing, trying to figure things out. But I know a lot of people were up annoyed that the fact that you didn't get anything uh, from what she's thinking or her plans and things like that. All in all though, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. It was a joy to watch. Well, some scenes weren't a joy to watch really, obviously, but um, the movie as a whole, uh, well made, good cinematography, 
good characters and interesting story. I'm going to give Red Sparrow an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching as always. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe if you want to see more, and follow me on the links below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out my Blu-ray haul, which I just put up yesterday. And as always, enjoy. See you next time.